This NHL veteran is proving everybody wrong. So in this offseason, there was one free agent who was the talk of the entire NHL, and that was Patrick Kane. Now, for those of you who don't know, Patrick Kane came off a very serious hip surgery this offseason, and that had a lot of people critiquing his game and questioning whether he was still going to be that elite forward that he once was in the league. Now, for me, I've always been a big fan of Patrick Kane. I think this guy is literally box office when it comes to the league. He has insane talent, and his hands are amongst the best in the league. But something I've never understood was really all of the questioning of this guy's game. I mean, if you look at his individual accolades and team accolades, this guy has done everything in the book and is a surefire Hall of Famer. I would even argue that his game is generationally talented. Some people were inspired by him growing up. They fell in love with the entire sport of hockey because of Patrick Kane, and I think he really gets underrated for all of that. And it's probably because he played in the same generation as guys like Crosby and Ovechkin, but some of the hate that I've been seeing for this guy lately has just been insane. And when it came to him signing with the Detroit Red Wings, nobody was a fan of this move. They all questioned his decision making and basically said that he was going to be a third liner at best when it came to the Red Wings. But boy, is this guy proven everybody wrong. In 10 games played, Patrick Kane has 10 points with the Red Wings and is completely shutting down all of his haters. Now, I knew he was going to come out and play like this. I know that the surgery was very severe and that a lot of people questioned whether or not you can come back from something like that on your hips. But when it comes to Patrick Kane, I just think that his game is so sustainable. It reminds me a lot of Sidney Crosby. He's not a very physical player. He relies more on his hands than he does anything else. And that's going to keep you in the NHL for a very long time. I mean, we've seen guys like Joe Thornton and Yaramir Yager play to insane ages. So the fact that people were questioning a guy who was just turning 35, claiming that he wasn't going to be able to play on a team like the Red Wings, who already have a ton of talent up front, was just insane to me. Now, Patrick Kane is on pace for a point per game, which would mean that he's at least going to cross over 60 points. And I think that that will shock a lot of people because I've seen predictions for like 25 to 30 points from most and that's just insane to me. So I'm just coming on here basically to say you need to keep your eye on Patrick Kane because he's going to elevate the Detroit Red Wings, not hold them back or keep them at the same pace. He's that kind of player and this signing will be very underrated in the future. But let me know what you guys think about this whole Patrick Kane and the Red Wings thing. Were you underrating him when he signed with this team or did you expect him to go off the way that he has been already? Drop your thoughts about Kane in the comments below and do we think that Patrick Kane is a generational player, one of those guys that we'll look back on from the 2010s decade and say that he was that guy? Let me know all of this in the comments. Like this video. Oh, and hey, subscribe to the channel if you love hockey and the NHL. I post daily videos keeping you up to date with everything you need to know about the sport. I will see you guys in the next one.